Welcome back to JUDolphins.com. Joel Lamb with the voice of the Dolphins, Barry Milligan, getting set for the football season finale at Campbell this Saturday. Uh, a season of what might have been a bittersweet ending to the season, but a chance, though, still to set a record. Seven wins still out there, a chance to get some momentum and somewhat start the 2010 season a little bit early here and get some momentum going into that. You know, Joel, I, I think the biggest testament to really the character of this club came obviously last Saturday in the victory over Butler. We didn't have a chance to win the BFL championship for the second straight year, but we darn sure had a say in who did. And we went out, played with a lot of pride, played with a lot of passion, and that is, again, a real testament uh, to these young men. And I think the pride will continue, you know, ending the season on a three-game winning streak, having back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time in school history is still a major accomplishment. And then you throw in all the individual records uh, that have fallen this year. And this still, you know, while it hasn't been what we had hoped for, it's been a terrific year. It really has. A, there's a story on uh, the website right now discussing all of the individual records that are set. You've seen Josh McGregor, Josh Philpart, Brudel Small. The team as a whole has right. set a bunch of records. And the defense has got the most sacks in school history. I mean, we've seen great performances out of a lot of different people this year. It, it's somewhat, you hate to see it end because now we're healthy, we're rocking and rolling. And I think, you know, now it's, true. It, it's, it's almost a shame that the season has to end because this team really is finding its role now. Yeah. And really ready to, is playing the best football he's played all season. Well, and you look at some of the intangible areas, like, you know, that, well, not intangible in terms of turnover margin, but it took, you know, we went five games with none. And then, you know, Butler rolls in here plus 10, leading the league. We get three turn, you know, we turn them over three times. And, and don't give it up one time. I mean, it's, it's amazing how many turnovers we've created in the last few games it's compared unreal. to none early. And what about the evolution of the offensive line? A young offensive line that has really now kind of hit a stride, playing very, very well. And, you know, you talk about the unsung heroes. I'll remember this season in, in great part in terms of individual play, to Haywood Range. Absolutely. An undersized defensive tackle who has played with the heart of a champion this year, even though he won't have that championship the second year in a row. Haywood Range is, is a young man that I will remember uh, this year very, very fondly for the passion he brought to the field every week. Great point. Haywood second on the team in tackles. And, uh, this for, is and for a defensive tackle. For a defensive yeah. tackle and a kid, <laughs> a kid who's – Six foot, maybe. 230, maybe. maybe. I mean, <laughs> this is a guy, and he's in there every play just busting his butt. Yeah. It's, it's a tribute to him and, and everybody on this team that, that has made this team. That, that There's a lot of t opportunities this team had a chance to pack it up and call it a season. But you know what? They fought through it. Six right. wins at this point, chance for seven on Saturday against Campbell. We'll start the Bonos pregame show at 1230. For Barry Milligan, I'm Joel Lamp signing off. We'll talk to you again Saturday morning from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina.